Hello, beautiful beings. <clears throat> it's my last day smoking. I'm going to take a break starting tomorrow, and I'm so excited about it. Right now, I'm getting ready to go to a celebration of life for... <clears throat> She's a dear friend of mine. I met her, met her over three years ago now. I sponsor her even though alcohol was not her thing. She was a drug addict, but she's been clean for over two years now. And she had two adult twin daughters, both severe drug addicts, and one of them just passed away. No longer suffering, the ancients are saying. And um, so I'm going to that celebration of life and it's not very long until I go and I am already tuning in and feeling so much anxiety. Ugh. I feel like that's the worst energy that I pick up by far. Fear, I don't know, they're both hor horrible, but I mean, it's the anxiety and this person that just lost her daughter but her daughter is not lost. She expressed to me that she really needed to talk to me soon because of all the anxiety that she's been experiencing. And I'm literally shaking because I have so much anxiety in my body right now. It's not just from this event that I'm going to either. It's from somebody else that's heavily in my energy and has been heavily in, in my energy for a really, really long time. Yeah, I was actually picturing the day that we met uh, when I went for my job interview, but they were just showing me that we've been in each other's energy for always. So it didn't start just then. That it's the reason having a twin flame, if you've been going through the twin flame lesson, or experience, whatever you want to call it, you will understand. But if you haven't, you're not going to understand what I'm saying. I swear, since I was a little kid, I was looking for my mate, the one, since I, since I was like five years old. And people labeled that as boy crazy. But when I was actually around my twin and realized he was my twin, because it's a very unusual connection, we're with each other all the time, even though we haven't been around each other in the physical for a long time now. We're always together, and I can't explain it fully. I don't know really how that works, but I know that it's real, and I know that he's experiencing a lot of anxiety right now. And... I've been remembering all day, all the work I've done to uh, not take on other people's emotions without creating resistance, without pushing, pushing them away. Besides my toxic neighbor friend, no, no, he's not even a friend. Besides him, people like him just, just need to be completely blocked off. There's no, you know, it's giving him his dog back and that's it. And you know, have a nice day. Yeah, but other people that are, are going to remain in my, my experience, I don't want to create resistance towards them. Well, it, because that creates resistance in myself and especially with my twin. I tried really hard blocking him out uh, with resistance and it just literally physically made me sick. <laughs> so it's really, really wonderful to not feel the level of resistance um, from him that I have felt before. That really, that was such a heavy weight to bear. Um, but, but I'm not feeling that today. So, so that's really, really nice. So I was just feeling all that anxiety and, um, starting to have the thoughts come along that match that feeling of anxiety as if they were my own, as if it's my anxiety saying, oh yeah, you shouldn't go to this. There's just way too many blah, blah, blah. Just, just, you know, mental activity. Okay, so they're showing me, let me see what time it is. They're showing me in the middle of the night, 
I haven't listened to all of them. Where are my readers? Thank you. I haven't listened to all of them, but in the middle of the night, I was talking to the ancients a lot um, throughout. From the middle of the night, I'd go to sleep for a little while and wake up and start talking to them again. And I use this little voice recorder on my phone. And because I'll forget, even if I'm like, I'll never forget this, I forget. And so, so I do that. <clears throat> Okay. Yep. I got to get going. So I'm just going to remain incredibly present. Um, I'm going to focus just so that's, that's what I'm going to do is just stay rooted in presence and, and be supportive and just be there, you know, be one of her elephants. So, and she knows that I can channel her daughter also. Um, she already reached out to me the day after, uh, it happened she reached out to me and she said, I hope she knows how much I love her and how much I wish I could hug her again. And that was her asking me to tell her to, to give. And she also needed reassurance. You know, my answer was she was holding her breath, waiting for the answer. And I said, um, she knows that 100% and she loves you too. And, um, and then she just sent me, I love you with ex exclamation points. And she felt a lot better. So, you know, I'm picking up on a lot of sad people right now. I'm picking up on her because we're so close. Um, so, you know, what's new? I'm crying. <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to cry. I don't think I ever really do. Ugh, the dogs are really annoying me today because I'm feeling so much anxiety in my body. <laughs> just the regular, you know, needy things. So... But that, you know, there's nothing wrong with crying. It's, I'm not going to get, you know, a life, a, a life, uh, <clears throat> life threatening disease because I let the pressure off of my body because I tell the truth because I'm not holding on to fear. Like it's a life raft. No, it's a death raft. Fear is a death raft. <laughs> Ancients, please help people that have been too afraid to be true to themselves, please. Please give them the strength to do that so they can see the life that they were meant to live. It's never too late. Amen. <laughs> so that's along with mamag at gmail.com. It's more practice, right? More practice on balancing my emotions. <laughs> Love you so much.